Welcome to Centering and Strengthening. Today we're going to do a circuit that's going to involve a lot of strength and then a lot of centering. So we're going to combine some things you'll find out. Let's get warmed up. Let's take our feet out to shoulder width apart and breathe it up three times. Take it up. It's 57 degrees right here. And last time, I mean, in my office. So the sweater is going to stay on until I'm all warmed up. Put your toe behind your heel as you swing your arms side to side. Now you want your head over your tailbone, your belly button to your spine, your ear, shoulder, and hip in alignment. Let's do eight, seven, six, put it behind, five, four. You want to get that good stretch, two, and one. Now keep your toe on the floor as you pivot and reach. Now we're moving from the hips to the shoulders. Nice job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we step and push the knee forward. Two, the eighth one becomes a quad stretch. Three, four, good job. Five, perfect. Six, seven, and eight. Reach behind. Try to bring that knee as close to the other one as possible. Get your head over your tailbone. That's important. And pull that belly button to the spine. You want the anchor to help uh, enhance the stretch. Let's do the other side. Let's take a step and knee. Good. Two. So a lot of your balance and strength for has a lot to do with how well you slept or what you've eaten. Six, I mean, there are physical property, properties, but those are also really important. So some days when I haven't slept as well, I can't balance as well. And some days I don't realize that, that it contributed to that disorientation of my body. Your legs are super wide apart and they're facing forward. We're coming onto the heel, pushing back with our glute. Nice, good job. Perfect, four more. Four and three and two and sit behind it on one. Now I'd like your eyes to be looking down at the floor in front of you so you're protecting the cervical curve. Spread those arms out, rotate toward the bent knee, look up at the hand, push, push, push with the glutes. Make sure you breathe through every stretch everywhere and inhale and exhale. Do the same thing on the other side. Don't push out the hip, you push back. Make sure your wrist is long and then bring it to the center and dive under and out to that big wide table toe, one leg table top and heel toe, your heel toes back in, soften your knees, drop it up vertebrae by vertebrae. Keep your knees soft and go side to side, take it back. Nice, you've got it. Good job, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna reach up, reach. Yeah, nice, good. So we alternate between nice, big, strong stretches and moving our body. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center, soften your knees. Roll your shoulders back for four and three and two and one. You're gonna be using those today for, <laughs> as if they're gonna be not used any time at all. Hand over the top of the head, guide the, ooh, guide the head over to your shoulder. Make sure you drop the stretching shoulder side. Inhale and exhale, bring it up. Other side, take it across, nice. And inhale and exhale up, bring, draw your hand behind and lift up. And release it down, hands low on the hips, soft knees, hips come up on each side. Push, so you're opening your back a lot as well, stretching your hips up and down. Good, you've got it. Four more sets and three, pull that belly button to the spine, that'll make it so much better, M1. Now we circle, pull it around. Now again, belly button to the spine, I mean deliberate. Five, six, seven, and eight, reverse. One, two, three, oh, that feels so good. Five, six, seven, and eight. And we're gonna breathe it up three times. Take it up, really fill up, head down. Two more up and down. Last time up and down. So I'm gonna suggest that you put the, the mat out either right under you or to the side, because we're gonna alternate plie, lift, plie squats with um, inchworms. So 30 of the squats to 10 of the inchworms. The inchworms are going to have a plank and a three, uh, four, rot or four count push up inside of it. So take it all the way out. Make sure that your knee is going over the second, eight, uh, second toe. 
right there. You're lifted up and your head's over your tailbone. A lot of people pitch forward just slightly on, on, uh, on plies uh, for balance, but we don't need to do that. Inhale down and exhale up. We're gonna go slow because I want you to feel every little bit of this. You know, I like to go fast and I like to go hard for exhale up. But today we're going to be very deliberate. Five, six, head over tailbone. Seven, there will be a pull. Eight, good job. Nine, 10, 20 more. One, lift up. Two, reach up. Three, nice. Four, this feels so good. Five, part of the opening here is a stretch. Six, so exercises seven that help you go to a stretch. Eight, not only make you stronger and more centered, but they also feel nine and 10 more. One, two, good job. Three, nice. Four, head over tailbone, belly button to the spine, exhaling up, five, six, good. You wanna keep that cervical curve, seven, in the back of your neck, eight, pull it in, nine. Here we go for the 20 pulse. 20, now if pulsing hurts your knees, just hold the uh, position for 20. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Push it up to the second part of the circuit. It's three parts. All right, so we're going to inchworm down. So that means we're going to curl down and pull your belly up through your to your rib cage for four. One, two, three, and four. You walk across. One, two, three. You hold your plank. One, two, three, and four. Knee goes down. Make sure your chest is between your hands. You can keep it in a long line if you're a long line push upper. Take it down and one, down and two down and three, down and four, hit that plank, one, two, three, four, walk it in, two, three, four, curl it up, two, three, four, curl it down, two, three, four, you add your breath as you move, three and four, make sure your shoulders and hands are in alignment, two, three, Four, here you go. Elbows go by the waist. Take it down and one, down and two, down and three, down and four. Hold your plank. Two, three, four. Walk it in. Two, three, four. Curl it up. Here comes number three. Come on, take it down. Two, three, four. Walk across. Two, three, Four, hold your plank. Two, three, four, lower knees. Push up down and one, down and two, down and three, down and four. Hit that plank. Two, three, four, walk it in. Two, three, four, curl it up. Two, three, four, here comes number four. Take it down. Two, three, four, walk it out two, three, four, hold your plank, two, three, four, knees are down, two, three, four, back to plank, two, three, four, walk it in, two, three, four, curl it up, two, three, four, take it five, two, three, four, walk it out, two, three, four, hold your plank, two, three, Four, let's go for push-ups. Take it one and two, good, and three and four. Good job, hold your plank. Two, three, four, you made it halfway. Two, three, four, curl it up. Two, three, four, curl it down. Two, three, four, walk it out. Two, three, four, hold your plank. Two, three, Four, knees come down. Good, take it one now. And two, and three, if you can't, four, curl it back, or hold your plank. Two, 
three, four, curl it up. If you have trouble with your shoulders and wrists, two, three, four, curl it down, two, three, four. Come to your elbows here. Hold your plank, two, three, four, and hold it through the push-ups. One, and two, and three, and four. Then put your knees down and walk it back. Two, three, four, curl it up. So we wanna make sure that your shoulders are protected. Take it down. Two, three, four, walk it out. You have three more to go. So you're almost there. Hold your plank. Two, three, four, get your push-ups ready. Take it down and one, down and two, down and three, down and four. Hold your plank. Two, three, four, walk it back. Two, three, four, curl it up. Two, three, four, take it down. Two, three, last two, walk it out. Two, three, four, hold your plank. Two, three, four, let's get those push ups. Take it down and one, down and two, down, open with your chest, not your shoulders. Four, to the plank. Two, three, four, walk it back. Two, three, four, curl it up, two. Now you're getting warm, right? So inversion is what really warms our body up. Two, three, hold the plank, nice. Knees come down, push-ups one, and two, and three, and four, hold that plank, and then walk it back, two, three, four, curl it up, two, three, four, come to center, second part, third part of the circuit. How are you doing, nice and warm now? But if you're on the mat, put one toe, your big toe on the edge of the mat. Then take the other foot and slide it till it's right at your heel. Get your head over your tailbone, nice. Now it's part of our alignment. Curl that leg off the floor, take it out and one. 20 on each side with a pulse, two. Three, four, good. Five, pull up through that belly button. Six, now. Seven, if you need to hang on in order to center yourself. Eight, I prefer that to leaning over. Nine, good. 10 more. One, good job. Get your head over your tailbone, two. Again, people tend to pitch forward. Three, when they're trying to balance themselves. I don't know why. Five, maybe it's like holding onto a roller coaster handlebar. Six. Seven, so make sure you get the head over the tailbone. Nine, and let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You feel it in the hip. Five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet at the edge of the mat. Slide the opposite leg back, right, right by the heel. Curl your leg up. Make sure you keep your head over your tailbone. One, good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight. I always have to crick myself to the center, nine. Now, the reason we have our leg back, 10, that keeps our knees in alignment. Otherwise, our knees go forward. One, two, three. I know you keep going as I talk. Four, I hope. Five, six, good job. Seven, keep it lifted. Eight, you're rising to the ceiling, your whole body, and lift it. 20, 19, again, hold on if you need to, 18. Now, one of the things about holding on, 16, 15, make sure it's something parallel so you're not dropping over, right? Uh, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down and take it back out to your plie position. Down for three, up for one for 20. One, two, three, reach one. Now you can do inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Or you can do inhale and exhale. One, two, three, and three. Good, nice, and four, nice. Now the pulse is gonna be different, five at the end of this one. Two, three, and six. One, two, three, and seven. One, two, three and eight, one, two, three and nine, one, two, three, ten more, 
one, two, three, and one, one, two, three, and two, one, two, three, and three, one, two, three, and four, five. Nice. Exhale up. Six. Pull that belly button to spine. Get that head over the tailbone. This should be the easiest alignment you do. Seven, eight. Nice. Nine. 10. Now hold it down there. Now we pulse the knees toward each other. One, two, three. Nothing leaves the floor. Five, six, seven. You feel that? Eight, nine, and 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. So we're changing the second circuit. We're going to do four push ups, go to one plank side, go to the other plank side, come back to center. Do four more. We're going to do that 10 times. So you've got to find your perfect push up position. For me, you got to make sure your hands are on your shoulders and your chest is between those hands so you're not working the shoulders. For me, it helps to take my leg into a plank and then drop the knees because then my legs are spread all the way back. I used to be able to do long leg until I broke my wrist. So inhale down and exhale up for four. One, two, good. Three and four. Go to your plank. Now you can do it on your elbows and hands. Take it, lift, center, lift. Back to push up. Let's go. No, set number two. One, two, three, and four. To your plank. Lift, center, lift. Number three. Get in position. Make sure your chest is between your arms. One, and remember too, too, that those elbows skim along the waist. Three and four, plank to the front, center to the back, and back to the center. Here comes number four. Four, right? All right, the other thing I wanna talk about, one, is your head position. Two, look down, not under. Three and four, go to the plank. Lift, good. Lift, here comes number five. Take it one, two, three. So this is a nice sneaky way. Hold your plank, take it to the front. Good, and take it to the back and come back to plank to sneak in 40 push-ups. right? Number six, let's go. One, two, three, and four. Hold that plank, take it up, take it up. Come back to center. Number seven, take it one two, three. Now, if you need to rest, just come back, four, and then come right back to it. Plank to the front, to the back, and come to center. Number eight, let's go. One, good, two, three, and four. Hit it, take it, lift. Don't forget to inhale and exhale. So you're exhaling out, you're inhaling down, then you're dropping. Number nine, one, come on, and make sure that you're Keep generating that hand under that shoulder because lift, uh, go to plank, then lift to the front because sometimes in plank our hands tend to go up. And back to the last one, let's go. Drop it down. One, two, three, and four. Good, back to plank, lift and lift. Bring it center and sit back. Good job. We're gonna go to the third part of the circuit. Take a nice deep breath. Nice. And curl it up. So far, you've done 80 push-ups. But you didn't realize that. Great, great news. All right, remember that position we started with last time? Slide that leg back, bend the knee. Up for three, down for one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. And we'll have a different kind of pulse here too. Four. One, two, three, five. So when you come down, you gotta make sure those knees are side by side. Two, three, six. So that's why we have the leg back. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. If you wanna put your arms out for more balance. Nine. One, two, three, 10. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. 
one, two, three, three. Get your head over your tailbone. Are you pitching forward? Four, come on, lift it up. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. The foot is, is neutral. One, two, three, not pointed or flexed. Eight. One, two, three, nine. And hold it up here for 10, then turn to the ceiling in one. Only 10 of these. Two, three, four, five. Good job. Six. Sandy loves twists. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. And bring it down. Let's center ourselves. Take a nice deep breath. Slide the other leg back. Okay. You can be on your floor. Not, you don't have to be on your mat. But if you're on the floor, don't have your socks on because this is something you can slip doing, all right? One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. I've talked about why the hands on the hips, three, are one of the best positions for, keep going, one, two, three, five, because it puts your shoulders and head in alignment. One, two, three, six, so down here, one, two, not up here, right, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine, ten to go, ten more. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. Get your head over your tailbone. One, two, three, belly button to spine. One, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine. Hold it up there for 10. One, two, see the foot is right down from the knee. It's not all under the leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're back to the plie. All right, this one's gonna be very fun because we're lifting one heel off the floor, not the other one. So remember which one you're lifting off the floor because you're gonna have to change when we come back around to the circuit. All right, so this is my left. And usually in class, it's my right. Down and one. This will have a 20 pulse at the bottom. Three, four, exhale up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two. Good job. So what I like about circuits three, it is high rep overload four, but because you're alternating position six, you don't get that big, you know, fatigue eight. And it's a little interesting. Nine. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three and two and one lower down, bring those legs together. Now the next one's gonna be interesting. We're gonna do four back lifts, just the upper body, then four push-ups, four back lifts, four push-ups. So let's go to the back lift position first since we haven't been there yet. So come on down. You're gonna lower your body down. The first thing you wanna do is pull the belly button to the spine and look straight down with your head. I'm going to turn so you can hear me talk. You take, and I move on a little bit. You take your hands out into a wide position. <clears throat> you lock those feet on the corner of the mat at the bottom. Don't lift them. Make sure your head's down. Make sure your head's down. Lift one, two, three, and four. Now slide your hands under your shoulders. Come up into your push-up position. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. Slide out, that's one. Here comes number two. Make sure you put your head down. One, two, three, and four. Slide it in. Come on up. One, two, three, and four. Slide it out. Let's go. One. Two, lift up, three, and four, slide it in. Number three, here we go. One, two, three, and four, slide it out. Number four, one, two, three, 
four, slide it in. Come on. One, two, three, and four. Let's go. Number five, eyes down. One, two, three, four, slide it in. Let's go. One, two, three, four, slide it out. Number six. One, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, four, slide it in. Let's go. One, exhale up, two, three, four, slide it out. Number seven. One, two, three, four, slide it in. Let's go. One, good job. Now, don't even squeeze your neck back a little. Two, make sure it's long. Three, and four, slide it out. One, two, three, and four, slide it in. It's number eight. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Good job. Slide it out. Number nine. One, two, three, four, slide it in. Let's go. One, two, three. And four, and last one, slide it out. One, two, three, four, slide it in. One, good. Two, three, and four. Let's take it back. Reach those arms out. You know what you just did? 120 push ups. Pretty nice, right? Don't even know, they kind of sneak up on you. All right, let's go. Feet to the edge, slide one leg back into the, the uh, relaxed foot, tabletop position, take it out, extend, bend, and one. You knew this was coming, right? Out, extend, bend, and two. Out, extend, bend, and three. Out, extend. Bend and four again. You can hang on to something to keep yourself centered. Five, out, extend, bend and six. Out, extend, bend and seven. Out, extend, bend and eight. You can also put the arm out. Extend, bend and nine. Out, extend, bend. Now what's important out that your knee stays forward. Don't let it go to the ceiling. 10 more, out, extend, bend. That's 10 descending. Good, Woo. nine, good, eight, nice, seven, six, five, good job, four, nice, three, two, now we take it out, 20, 19, 18, 17, now you're gonna feel a lot of weight, 16, on this hip, 15, it's kind of unavoidable, 14, unless you keep your low, leg low, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Put the other foot to the front, <sighs> slide the other, oh, slide the other leg back, almost did the same leg. <laughs> Get your head over your tailbone. Make sure you're established. Nice big breath right here. Get your alignment, belly button to the spine. Take it up. Out, extend, bend, and one. Out, extend, bend, and two. Out, extend, bend, and three. Out, extend, bend. Are you pitching forward? Out. When you have a long balance like this, five, we have a tendency to pitch forward. I don't know why six. Out, extend, bend, and seven. Out, extend, bend, and eight. Out, extend, bend, and nine. Out, extend, 10, two, go. 10, good job. Nine, eight, nice, seven, six, good job. Five, and four, you got it. And three, and two, last one, 20, 19, 
18, bring it to the tabletop every time, right? By the knees, 17, 16. So don't just flick it around. 15, this is opening and closing. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Open up to that plie. The other leg is up. Take it down and one. Down and two. Three, good job. Four, nice. Five, lift. So make sure the other heel's off the floor. Six, seven, if that works for you. If it hurts your knee, don't do it. Eight, nine, good. 10, 10 more. One, two, head over tailbone. Three, good job. Four, five, six, Seven, good job. Eight, nine, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower down. All right, we're going to do the same thing. This time we're going to keep the upper body still and lift from the lower body. This is a back exercise. So you wanna feel like you're lifting from the front of your hips, okay? So let's bring ourselves down. Take your arms out again, take your legs out again, pull that belly button to the spine. Look straight down, spread those legs out. Lift and lower for four. One, two, three, and four. Bring your hands under your shoulders, come into your push-up. One, two, three, and four. That's number one. Second set. One, two, three, and four. Slide it in. Come on. One, two, three, and four. Third set. Make sure your head is facing down. One, two, three, and four, slide it in. Come on. One, two, three, and four. Take it out. Number four. One, two, three, and four. Slide it in. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Number five, slide it out. One, two, three, Four, slide it in. Come on. One, two, three, four. Number six, head down. Oops, one. I almost lifted the upper body. Two, three, four. Slide it in. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Number seven, lower the body. Two, three, Four, slide it in. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Number eight, lift. One, two, three, four. Slide it in. Let's go. One, two. Now there's a philosophy about legs down and legs up on the modified. All right, take it out, lift and lower. They both work. You gotta make sure your back is okay. Two, three, Four, slide it in. One, so legs down is one position, legs up is another. And four, they're both accepted. Lower leg for last one. One, two, three, and four, slide it in. Last set, we're up to 100 and what? 180 or two, 143, I don't know, 184. Sit back, 160, that's what we're up to. And sit it back there. Come on up, third part of the circuit. Now this is a, a good circuit to mark for when you're traveling, because all you need is some padding on the floor. You don't need weights. You don't need any kind of apparatus. You just need your body. You do it in your pajamas. All right, feet on the edge of the... Now we're gonna do something different on this one. We've been going out, we're gonna go across. So step, re slide it up and bring it up and take it one, good, two, three, 
four, everything else stays center. Five, six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, 10 more, good. One, two, almost lost my balance there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job. Use that hip flexor. Let's go 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, put that one back up, bring this one back, curl it, one. Now you might be two more balanced on one side than the other, three, that means four. You have to apply more breathing to that side, five. A more sense of lift, six, right? Seven, eight, this is uh, counting, nine. Uh, while doing this, is like being an opera singer. You gotta find your breath moments, 10 more, 10, Nine, so if you wanna make it harder, count along with me. Six, six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, and let's go 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it back together. Let's go back out to plie, last circuit, I promise. We don't even have time for it anymore. Both heels are off the floor. Get yourself centered, down, and one, down. Don't drop them even when you come up. Three, exhale up, four, woohoo, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good job. 10 more, one, two, three, four, good job. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's go. And bring it in, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your feet, bring it up, walk them in. Now for this next one, we're gonna lift up our lower body together. Now it's really a hard thing to do without hurting your back. So if you have a back concern, just use your upper body. But if you can really get that belly button to the spine, really feel that core engaging, that zip up through the center, then you shouldn't have any trouble. You can lift and lower them together. Okay, so let's go down and do that. And we're gonna also get to our 200 push-ups. Let's go down. All right, so here's where you make sure you have your belly button to your spine. I know the impulse is to push your stomach into the floor and then you wanna do the opposite of that. Lift and lower for four. One, two, three, and four. Slide it in to your push-up. One, Two, three, four, slide it out. Number two, one, eyes down, eyes down. Two, three, legs held down. Four, slide it in, bring it up. One, two, three, four, slide it out. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, slide it in. Set number three, one, <clears throat> two, three, and four, slide it out. One, two, belly button to the spine, three, and four, slide it in. Come on, one, two, three, four, take it out, number five. Bring them together, inhale up, exhale down. One, two, Three, four, slide it in. One, two, three, and four. Number five, take it out. One, two, three, and four, slide it in. One, two, three, and four, slide it out. One, number six, two, 
three and four, bring it in. Let's go, one, two, three, and four, slide it out. Number seven, one, pull from the transverse abdominal, two. You wanna lift everything off, three and four, slide it in. One, are your shoulders in the right position? Two, you'll start to feel it in your biceps if you aren't in the right position. Four, take it out. Number nine. One, two, three, and four. Slide it in. Let's go. One, and two, and three, and four. Slide it out. Last one. One, this is where we end our circuit. Two, three, Four, slide it in, I'm running out of steam. And it's one and two and three and four. Push back and stretch. I want you to push your glutes really far back, parallel legs. So your knees and feet are in alignment. Arms are reaching forward. Now bring yourself up on those knees. We're going back down now. We're going to drop our chest to the floor. So I want you to reach way out and then bring your chest down. Head to the floor. Good. Walk it in. Come around and open up your chest. Do the push-ups. Don't you feel special? There isn't much that we missed today. Back of the hands, the back, the shoulders, the chest. We got a little residual triceps and biceps. We got a whole bunch of leg and we did balance. So what else is better for centering and strengthening, I ask you? What else? Let's go to our backs. Let's walk into our tabletop position. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders. Your knees are under your hips and you're looking right down so the cervical curve loves you. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Get that nice big opening. Drop it and exhale, curl up like a cat. Really go high in this curl so you can feel the big separation between the lumbar and the, and the glutes in the back. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat. <clears throat> Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat. Now come to neutral, open those legs just a little bit and circle your hips around. Just your hips. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse it. One, two, three, come on. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring one hand to the front, the other hand to the front, and then drop it to the side. I'd like you to take your legs open. Now we want to get on our sit bones, and for some of us, that means bending our knees a little bit, because getting on our sit bones gives us that opening that we need to have and that stability, you know, anchors for every stretch. So we're going to start inhale out, and then the hand comes behind the thigh, right beside the hip, the arm comes across the ear, you're pushing to the wall. So big inhale and exhale, this is not a curl down push. You're pushing to the wall. Keep your head over your torso. Keep everything lifted up to center. So don't let yourself roll forward. Grab your ear. Take your, your head across. I don't know what I did to myself. Take the other arm and slide it along the leg. Then inhale your other, your stretching arm out. And now you're going over the leg. So you've got a little bit of diagonal more into the hip. Now you're going to inhale up and rotate toward that leg. And come on down if you can. Feel some resistance as you come down. It will be great to open up your back some more. Good. And put your hands on each side and curl up into the center. Let's roll our shoulders back twice and then forward twice. I roll shoulders a lot because I want to keep my head over my tailbone as much as possible. Big inhale and exhale over to the other side. We're pushing toward the wall. We're getting it from the hip all the way to the serratus. Good, take your hand on your ear, of the bottom of your ear and take it across. You wanna get a lot of leverage and opening up those scalenes. Slide that arm along the leg. Make sure it's soft, you don't wanna harden it. And then come over to that diagonal stretch. Stay on your sit bones, don't let yourself fall back into this. That would defeat the purpose. Inhale up and face your leg and come on down. You'll have more flexibility on one side than the other. Isn't that the truth? 
and then slide yourself up. Let's really go into a roll down stretch right in the front. So you start at the top, you inhale, and as you exhale, you pull the abs up under the rib cage, you roll down, then you come all the way out with soft arms as far as you can go. And we're gonna breathe three times. And then you're gonna come back up and then you're gonna slide it out again on a big inhale. So take it on a big exhale. So take a big inhale here and exhale, take it all the way up. There you go. You got a lot more strength, a lot more movement. Take your hands out to your legs, let your chest drop forward. Now curl up into that chest by putting your hands on your shins and then curl up into more by putting your hands on your thighs and then bring your hands to center and you've got it all the way. Let's come on over into our town and look, downward facing dog. Hands under the shoulders, push your toes into the floor, push your chest toward your legs. You're reaching out with those hands. This is everything. This is the stretch we want to do every day if we can. If you can't do it on the floor, do it on the couch or a desk or a, a bar or whatever you have in your house. One knee forward, the other heel down, feeling that hamstring, and then switch, push down, walk it in, hang, 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 soften your knees, come on up slowly, get your head over your tailbone, drop your shoulder blades, you're going to keep your lower body stable while your upper body swings in a carefree fashion. fashion. So inhale and exhale, swing. This is called washing machine. Your arm swing like empty coat sleeves. My very first yoga teacher in 1971 used this at the end of every one of her classes. And I'm using it 100 years later at the end of all mine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center. Breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you for centering and strengthening a very overall body circuit. I hope you enjoyed.